down I've learned all my lessons before now Born to be down I think you'll get used to it And you just don't get it You keep it copacetic And you learn to accept it You know it's so pathetic And you just don't get it You keep it copacetic And you learn to accept it You know it's so pathetic And you don't And you don't And you don't And you don't This is the guitar lesson for local H's bound to the floor or just don't get it from guitarmadeeasy.com. This is a special request lesson for Bears Our Boss 15. Bears Our Boss 15, I'm guessing you're either from Chicago or from the Pacific Northwest. Either way, man, I hope you like it. Thanks for watching my channel. And let's get right to the lesson. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that your guitar is tuned a half step down. So this is what your E should sound like. Now I'm going to show you each part, you just piece it where it goes. The first part I'm going to show you is the intro and the verse, which goes like this. Over and over and over again. Now how you play that, there's four, um, I guess you could call them chords I used. The first chord is going to be your pointer finger on the second fret on the D string, your ring finger on the G string at the fourth fret, and the A string open. You want to kind of pluck strum those three strings. That's your first chord. Now for the second chord in that progression, you just take your middle finger and you put that on the third fret on the A string. That's the second chord. And for the third chord, you want to take your middle finger, take it off the A string, and put it on the E string at the third fret. And also, take into account that your middle finger, the pad of your middle finger, is going to be muting that A string, so the A string doesn't really ring. You're still strumming three strings, though. Technically four, if you count that A string. E string, A string, D string, and G string. Now for the last chord, you take your pointer finger, put that on the fourth fret on the G string, you take your middle finger, put that on the 5th fret on the A string, and you do this. So what I was doing there was I go... So three down strums on that chord I just showed you, and then I take my ring finger and I want to put that on the 5th fret on the G string, and then I take it off so I'm hitting the 4th fret still where my pointer finger is on the G string as well, and then I take my pointer finger off the string so that G string is now open. Watch very closely, I'll play it very slowly for you. See that? Even slower. Now for each one of those chords, aside from that last chord, what I was doing was this. This song has a very particular strumming pattern. So it's kind of like you're, you're doing all down strums, but at the same time you're muting the strings right after you strum it. Watch very closely. So what I was doing was I was strumming through a chord and then my palm would hit the strings after I strum it. So if you want to practice that very slowly, you can do this. So you can see how my palm was actually coming down and muting those strings after certain strums. Now that entire chord progression is all down strums, the best way to learn this part is to practice along with the original recording in order to get those down strums down. Okay, so that's the first part you gotta know. The second part, when we go into the chorus, it goes like this. We have an A power chord. And then we go to a C power chord. 
then a G power chord, and then a D power chord. Obviously all down strums. Once again, this is how I play it. Now you'll also hear a little riff in there within the chorus of this song. It goes... All it was, was pointer finger on the 2nd fret on the A string, to your middle finger on the 3rd fret on the A string, then you take it off back to the 2nd fret on the A string, and then open. And that's right after the C chord, and then after the D chord, going into the chorus progression all over again. You get the idea. Now, as the song goes on, there's uh, two other little parts I want to show you. There's a part where it, the guitar kind of calms down a little bit and you'll hear some palm muting. All he's doing there is he's palm muting through the chords in the chorus progression. So it's A, power chord, and then C, power chord, and then G, power chord, and then D, power chord. So with distortion, it sounds way better. Now the last part I want to show you is the little lead guitar riff you'll hear towards the end of the song, which goes like this. All I was doing there was I had my pointer finger on the 2nd fret on the G string, my ring finger on the 4th fret on the G string, and I want to go... So, 1, 2, 3 on the 4th fret take it off to the second fret and I'm gonna do a little it's a quarter bend it's just a very small bend with my ring finger on the fourth fret on the G string and then I go back to that second fret on the G string and I do it all over again so notice the pause after that note right there the entire song i hope you guys liked it make sure to subscribe to my channel also go download my free gift to you and that's my top secret guitar tips uh, i put a link up there a little bit earlier check it out it's under the little uh, exclamation point also i really want to keep on putting as many lessons out as possible for you guys and i have a lot of really cool things in store please be a part of my patreon team so i can continue to do this i really appreciate it anything helps and I've got tons of awesome teaching tools, uh, packages, and things to throw at you if you join my Patreon team. So I really appreciate it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Please send me more requests, and I have more lessons on the way.